All right, guys, we have some big, big updates when it comes to college football stadium renovations. Florida University, the newest school, Ben Hill Griffin Stadium, receiving potentially $400 million in renovations over the next few years. It was just announced that they are looking for an architect to complete the $400 million renovation that's going to be taking place in July. We'll see if they come out with renderings. There are currently no details or timeline yet available. This was just announced a few days ago. Florida plans to revamp every phase of the fan experience. So this is going to be quite the major renovation. And when it comes to $400 million, you would expect at least a little bit of maybe a seating shuffle. Like, I'm sure most of the seats will stay the same, but maybe they'll do something to where they add in bar areas, social spaces, take some seats out to put something in. Uh, we'll see what happens. This is really interesting because Ben Hill Griffin Stadium in Gainesville, Florida has kind of been thought as a potential home to the Jacksonville Jaguars and we'll see if this helps at all, although I will be interested in the timeline. Normally with college football stadium renovations, it's a multi-year process and I would expect $400 million, a full renovation of the concessions, the bathrooms, the whole nine yards. A lot of these college stadiums, especially with the bigger programs, they go through periods where, you know, they'll receive a renovation, then 20 years later, they'll receive, they'll receive another one, then 20 years later, they'll receive another one after that, because the stadiums are just timeless. College football never seems to replace them. This comes about two months after Penn State announced their massive $700 million renovation. We're still waiting for renderings on that, but that's going to be huge as well. And then the other thing I wanted to talk about, we also have FSU right now in the midst of renovating, getting a brand new practice field along with a full interior renovation. That looks really interesting there on the interior. Almost looks like there's an exclusive club kind of at ground level right behind. That's a weird setup right there, is it not? Because wouldn't you think that they, the, if you're at ground level, you would be blocked off from seeing the game because all the players on the sideline sidelines would block you? Oh, that's an interesting rendering, but yes, they are kind of in the midst of a multi-phase, multi-year renovation that they think will be ready by 2024. And then how about Tennessee? Uh, the Board of Trustees recently approved a revised Neilon Stadium renovation plan that will increase their Phase 1 renovation budget by over $100 million dollars. Tennessee's really doing a lot when it comes to Neilon Stadium. You can see it looks like a beautiful exterior renovation and an interior renovation. There were already photos that came out about the construction inside along the lower bowl of Neilon Stadium. That's happening. They are in the midst of phase one right now. They're getting a full new light set up and a full new exterior. Going to be really nice for Neilon Stadium. They have one of the best college football environments. And Tennessee, man, I mean, th this is a huge year for Tennessee football because Last year was great, but you got to keep it up. You got to prove that you are officially back to being a perennial top 10 or top 15 college football program. But those are kind of the major college football renovations. Once again, I want to dive into this Florida situation and what's going on. You know, with the $400 million, I'll be honest, I never thought that Gainesville was a, a, a top option for Jacksonville when they relocate in 2026 and 2027. But if they actually do throw $400 million into a huge renovation and it's ready by the time the Jaguars have to relocate for those two seasons as their stadium is getting renovated, does this become a more attractive option? Because remember, we have the idea that Camping World Stadium is trying to get a big renovation. I think a lot of people expect the Camping World Stadium situation to be solved very simply. They're probably going to get an upper deck renovation, but there's no way that taxpayer money is paying $800 million without a tenant there. That's just ridiculous. So I do think Camping World Stadium is going to get a lower tier renovation to the upper deck. 
Camping World is still an option if they wanted to relocate for Orla to Orlando for a few years. Maybe Gainesville becomes an option for Jacks. Ben Hill Griffin Stadium was getting older for sure. And apparently they are looking for companies that had worked on modernizing other older stadiums like Lambeau Field and Fenway Park. So yes, no, they Fenway Park and Lambeau have done an unbelievable job with kind of how old they are, but then they do the renovations and, you know, it, it looks really, really good. So that's certainly a good thing. And then I don't think I discussed this. Fresno State Valley Children's Stadium Fresno State revealed a $250 million upgrade to their athletic facilities. This came about two months ago when they revealed it, including a reimagining of Valley Children's Stadium, formerly Bulldog Stadium. That name's annoying, Valley Children's... It's nothing against children, it's just an annoying name. Valley Children's Stadium. Uh, and then they show the renderings in 2018... Uh, Fresno State tried and failed to renovate the stadium, which is in serious need of repair. So you can see the renovation of that. That re that reminds me of the Air Force renovation they're doing. You get a lot of these situations with college football teams where they, they always just renovate their stadiums. They, it's never a new stadium that goes up. That's why it was so rare uh, when Baylor built their own stadium, when Minnesota built their own stadium back in 2009. But Fresno State, that is another one that is going through the renovation process. And I think I've talked about pretty much. Yeah, and then UCF is also trying to get a big time renovation. They're putting a lazy river right next to the practice field or whatever. That is pretty cool. UCF should start recruiting better, joining a Power 5 conference in the Big 12 That'll be interesting out of Florida. But yeah, I just wanted to go over both Florida and FSU going through big time renovations to their stadium with Florida looking at just under half a billion dollars. Probably not going to change the look of the stadium too much, I would say. I think it's much more likely that Penn State changes the look of their stadium at least a little bit because their renovation is, is a lot more. It's $700 million. I mean, when you talk about some of these other countries, you spend $700 million on a stadium. It's state of the art. So to, to, to have that just for a renovation, uh, it is pretty remarkable. But but both Florida and Florida State planning uh, big-time renovations. And then we'll have to see what happens to Miami. They're trying to build that stadium right by the water. Miami really needs a new stadium. It's just so hard to find land in South Beach, Miami. It's miserable to build new stadiums. I mean, they got Messi coming and, you know, Freedom Park for the Miami FC team is struggling to get built, but they're going to build that. Yeah, Freedom Park is going to get built for sure now that Messi is coming. But either way, guys, those are just the updated renovation plans. We The big-time renovations for college football, I would say it, it's Penn State and Florida are, are the two huge ones. After that, you know, you have FSU, you have possibly Miami trying to get their own stadium. You've got you've got Fresno State as well. You have Air Force, and you have that Tennessee project. The other thing with Tennessee, they're trying to build a complex around their stadium right next to like a hotel. They're trying to put a hotel right next to the stadium to where it connects right into it. It really is a smart plan. And they are really invested into it because it was already an expensive renovation and they had to revise it another $100 million they're going to be spend on phase one. And then this is probably one of my favorite end zone renovations. So this is Texas Tech Jones AT&T Stadium. This is going to be completed for the 2024 season. $200 million project to close off the south end of the stadium, or close in the stadium, a new athletic development center. And you can just, I love the brick design with the columns. It's such a good design. And then on top of the columns, they have 
like one section of standing room area and then above that they've got seating and you can go out and it looks like an office area on both sides. It's like a two deck area. And then you can see that's connected to like a larger building on each side, a larger brick building. It's just done really well. So Texas Tech getting that, uh, hopefully ready by 2024. There's a few construction photos, but I don't think this is going to be ready this year. This is probably going to be 2024. Uh, but I did just want to go through a few different renovations where they're at right now in terms of college football with the two big ones. The big one that just got announced, Florida, $400 million, Penn State, $700 million, FSU in the midst of doing one as well. Uh, but guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description.